Mr. Constancio, today the European Central Bank published the Financial Stability Review, mm -hmm. the spring edition. Yeah. What did you single out as the largest risks to financial stability? We highlight uh, four risks. The first one is a possible uh, reversion of the movement of asset valuations, uh, which could lead to capital losses. The second risk is uh, the risk of weak profitability of many financial institutions in the climate of low interest rates, which affects banks, but also uh, down the road, uh, possibly uh, insurance companies. Uh, the third risk is the risk related with uh, the debt overhang in uh, the uh, euro area. Not only uh, public, but also private uh, debt ratios are quite high. And the fourth risk is uh, related with uh, shadow banking, uh, or rather the entities that are not banks, but are also involved in credit uh, intermediation in financing the uh, economy. And in particular, the asset management and the investment funds uh, industries. Right. Um, you also, um, there is right now, there's a really hot topic that is widely discussed. Mm -hmm. It's sort of dwindling market liquidity, or you may also call it sort of liquidity mm -hmm. risk. Mm -hmm. um, you're also mentioning in the FSR mm -hmm. that there's strong or sharp movements in markets such as commodities, forex, mm -hmm. even European government bonds, yes. which usually or tend to be very liquid markets. Now, what are, what are the root causes of this? And how are you addressing these? Well, indeed, uh, market liquidity, the facility to buy and sell in the market, has been uh, uh, decreasing, particularly in the bond market. In what regards commodities and uh, exchange rate uh, market, the reasons are not uh, related so much to liquidity, but to changes in fundamentals that justify the movements of those prices. Now you were mentioning um, sort of the, 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 the trend setting, the financial risk taking, um, this is rather high mm -hmm. currently, but then economic risk taking, and that's also what you're mentioning in the FSR, mm -hmm. is rather, is, is not as strong as financial risk taking. Um, is that, are you sort of lamenting the fact that there is too little investment in the real economy? Certainly, and uh, of course it takes time for what we are doing in improving financial conditions being transmitted to uh, real investment decisions. Uh, indeed, uh, by uh, promoting that uh, in part with our policies, uh, we are trying to reduce the cost of capital or the cost of financing for the real economy, for economic agents, uh, households and firms to take expenditure decisions, uh, either in consumer durables or in investment. Right. And um, finally, I want to ask you um, quickly about the sort of the one of the risks that you highlighted. It was shadow banking. Mm -hmm. um, last time around in the last um, financial stability review, you mentioned it, but it was amongst others. This time you singled it out mm -hmm. as a separate risk. Yeah. Why is that? Well, it's still a potential risk, as it is explained. But indeed, uh, uh, what we are realizing is that the sector is increasing very quickly. And also another thing, which is the main potential risk in this uh, sort of uh, segment of the financial system, which is that uh, uh, most of the liabilities are short term uh, and uh, we see that many of those institutions are uh, investing more and more in long maturity instruments in more illiquid instruments and that mm -hmm. creates potentially a problem of uh, liquidity risk that has uh, to be monitored uh, and uh, indeed uh, if the uh, necessity is justified regulators will have also to address this, th that uh, uh, potential risk uh, down the road. Thank you very much Mr. Constancio. Thank you.